A kid is the carnation, apparently, making a comeback. Flower expert Jay Schwenk, and I should say, syndicated national television star, <laughs> youbloom.com, here to tell us what it's like, how we can incorporate the carnation into our everyday lives. I, I think a lot of people think of carnations as like, you know, during prom season, perhaps, mm -hmm. where you'd, you'd put, you know, you'd give you a um, date. Well, yeah, there's, the, you know, the great, um, great songs about a pink carnation in yeah. your, you know, in your lapel. As a kid, my grandfather and my father always wore a red carnation. And we had family greenhouses and they would, we grew carnations. They would oh, go out, okay. pick them and wear them every day. Right. So in my house, as I grew up, there was always a carnation nice. in the glass at the kitchen sink because my dad would take his carnation off at the end of the day, drop it into the glass, it was always there. Nice. So it's a, it's a permanent fixture for me, but carnations are changing because we might think about them being red or pink mm -hmm. or whatever, but there's great colors like this green. So Look this is that. a natural color that, that okay. is, is for the carnation and you had even commented about this. I know, this is amazing. So this is green trick. And it's a dianthus, again, all are in the dianthus family. Okay. Has the same carnation type uh, uh, stem and the foliage. But it but looks it, so different. It looks like moss, right? It it's does. It's a very mossy little fun item. So we can do fun things. Obviously we can drop just one into a vase like right, this. Right. But I also wanted to show you how we can gather up a few stems and mm -hmm. I just wrapped a little bit of the craft covered wire around that. So then I can take a couple big leaves like this. So you're making this look so easy. And that's the whole idea. <laughs> Empowerment with flowers so that we make sure it's easy for people. So we've gathered those up. Then I'm gonna grab a couple of these other fat seal leaves because they're a little different. I'm gonna grab one little piece of our craft wire. Craft wire, see so these so, are all terms that are new to me. Craft wire is a craft covered wire. So Love it's it. just regular binding wire. This is that beautiful has craft. already wire over the top so that it's gentle on the flowers. Right. When I wrap it around, it won't cut into them, right? So then I'm just gonna take this whole thing, cut off those stems, and drop it down into my vase. In 35 seconds, you just made this amazing, it's, it's art. Isn't it it's, pretty? It's gorgeous. It's just a fun way. Okay, so, so now. Now, how, how long will this stay this way? <laughs> I would say probably two to three weeks. Oh, that's awesome. I know, right? One, I was of the thinking great two, three things, days. one of the great things about carnations is the fact that they will last a really long time. And especially okay. like the foliages paired with them, the asphodistra and the fatsia right. are gonna last a long time too. So I with this guy looking like moss, right? Yeah, right? We're gonna take that, we're gonna drop it down in our container. So it's created a little structure right, right here, okay? So then I can take my other flowers and I could do anything. Yeah. But then this is gonna hold them that. in place. This is awesome. So it acts as a fun way for me to just add flowers. One of the things I, I just, I have to encourage people so much that flowers should not be intimidating. It should be easy for us and it should be fun. And same kind of deal, this, 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 this so arrangement will last gonna a few, last a few several weeks? weeks, exactly. So you're gonna see when you get your carnations, yep. they may be tight like this, right. okay? And so just gently, I just gently give Open them a them little up. bit of a push. Okay and suddenly we've got them open. Or I let them sit in the vase and let them open up on their, on their own, own too. But you know, you, see you couldn't resist, could you? I gotta try it. You could not but resist. But we wanna remind everybody, that you, we can catch your new fabulous show. Jay Schwanke's Life in Bloom. That's right, WGVU on Fridays at 11 and again at five, correct? Correct, and if you don't get those channels in your area, you can come to our website, ubloom.com, because we stream it there too. Love it, thank you, sir. All right, thanks so much. Do? You're doing good, you're doing good. Still alive at least. <laughs>